Hey all, here are OS Reviews. These days we're all living in an increasingly digital world with more and more accounts and passwords that we have to create for different websites and apps, so it's important to take security seriously. And that's why I've been a fan of 2FA or two-factor authentication keys, and I've talked about them previously in other videos. So in case someone has hacked you or gained access to your password, they still can't actually get into your account on another device or computer unless they also have stolen your hardware key. Today we're taking a look at yet another competitor that might be one of the more advanced versions that I've seen yet. So this company is called Fatian and we're looking at two variants from them. This one here is called the K33 and the one on the right is called the K44. The K44 here has a USB Type-C port along with a lightning port on the other end. So this is really meant for mobile devices. You can basically pop this onto any standard Android smartphone or even iPhone or iPad and then tap on this key basically to lock in. In. So the K44 will be a better fit if you're mostly trying to log in through mobile smaller devices or if you're carrying a newer ultrabook or laptop that also uses a type C port use it with systems like Chrome OS, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android as well. It's driverless, so basically plug and play. You don't have to install really anything else. The packaging here is also very eco-friendly. As you can see, uh, everything is made out of cardboard, so it's recyclable, and there isn't even a user manual in the box. In fact, they tell you to visit uh, the website here basically to learn more detail. And then the K33, despite the smaller number, is actually the flagship model that has more features built on in. It's called a all-in-one pass uh, because it also has a biometric fingerprint reader. You have to tap it with the correct finger for you to then be able to get into your account. So it's almost three-factor authentication. It has almost three layers of security. It also has built-in Bluetooth as well as built-in NFC. And that means you're able to also use this wirelessly or you can connect it by USB cable. And inside of the box, we have just the security keys themselves. In fact, uh, they actually don't even include a USB Type-C cable, uh, but it is pretty standard stuff. You need to supply one yourself though to charge it or if you wanna use it in the wired mode. Taking a closer look at the K33, it is constructed at of a polycarbonate plastic but feels relatively sturdy and well made. There is also a lanyard strap, you can pop it onto a keychain, and then there are some LED lights as well that will flash to tell you the status. And then on the back here we have just simply the NFC area that you can be in contact with a phone if you are using it in that mode to log in. There is a button on the side that you can basically hold for about five seconds to enter the Bluetooth pairing mode for the first time, and that's when you can start pairing it under your Bluetooth devices. In terms of the size, it's going to be a little larger than some of the other security keys on the market, but still relatively compact. In contrast, the K44 really is tiny. It's one of the smallest security keys that I've seen yet, uh, since it has these tiny mobile connectors uh, that works again with Lightning, as well as USB Type-C. Everything on this particular unit is constructed out of aluminum alloy, including the frame, so it has a super sturdy and very premium feel to it. It's also got a small keychain attached by default, so you can pop it onto your keys. And there is also just a touch-sensitive key that you can tap on basically to confirm, and then it will allow you to log in. It's not a fingerprint reader like on this model. There's also a status LED light, and that is pretty much it. If anything though, maybe having a cap that protects the lightning and the Type-C port would be nice to see, uh, maybe as an optional accessory, because if you really hang this onto your keys, uh, you want to prevent any dust or things from damaging it. Again, this will work with any website or app that supports two-factor authentication with Fido. So as an example of those, we can try using it with our Google account or Gmail. And how you do that is go into your Google account settings, turn on two-step verification, and then from here you're able to add, say, a security key. I'm going to use one just with a USB connection, or I can use the aforementioned NFC or Bluetooth, which the K33 has. But right now, let's try to demo setting it up with the regular K44, so we're going to just use USB USB connection method, and then I'm going to just pop it onto the bottom of my phone here. You can see the light here will turn on, has been connected, um, and afterwards I'm going to tap on OK, allow access, and then I'm going to tap on the touch sensitive area, and as you can see there, it will be recognized basically, and I can now also set up a name for it, so let's call it the K44, and then tap on Done. Afterwards, you can see the K44 has been added. So say that this was a different phone or I'm on a computer now and I want to get into my account. I'm gonna enter my Gmail and the password that I have is still required, so I'm gonna tap on next. But afterwards, it's gonna prompt us to also 
confirm with our security key before it gets us access into the account. So I'm going to tap on it again, use security with USB, and then now tap on this particular security key. And now you can see that it's been verified because our account has previously been saved to be recognized with this K44. So it works well and really is just plug and play, no issues there. On this particular iPhone, uh, we haven't logged in with Gmail before, so I've entered just the account and the password, but now it requires me to also connect the security key for us to uh, actually log in. And it won't work with any other YubiKey or security key, it only works with the one that I've registered with my account. So I can tap on Next, and now it will allow us to sign in. We have to kind of pop in the Lightning port connection onto the bottom here. And once again, you can see that it will be recognized, check mark, and afterwards it's not going to require you to always plug it in on this device. Or you can continue to do that if you don't trust the particular phone or computer that you're using. And the more expensive K33 works in exactly the same way. It's just you have more options to pick between. It doesn't have to just be the wired mode. You can also try the NFC mode or the Bluetooth mode. So NFC, for example, will prompt you to turn on NFC, and then we can basically pop this onto the back of the phone. It's going to vibrate. The Bluetooth method works exactly in the same way. We're just going to allow it to turn on Bluetooth. We're going to tap on this once to wake it up and basically tap on it. And uh, after we've already set it up, it will just verify that this is the same security key. It's going to turn green. Bluetooth recognition does take a little bit longer compared to a physical plugged in connection. Now using it in the wired mode, so I have just a type C to regular type A cable plugged into this Windows laptop, go into sign in options. And from here, you're able to add a physical security key right from Windows now. And we have the ability to also add uh, our fingerprints basically this way. Using our index finger now, I'm going to just pop it onto the sensor, move it around slightly to get the edges red. And afterwards, it should basically tell us that the fingerprint has been successfully saved. And now to demo using a single website like our Gmail, it's basically going to work in exactly the same way that we saw earlier on our mobile devices. Uh, but again, it's only going to be recognizing the proper fingerprints. If I put a different finger on the reader here, you can see it's going to turn red because that's the wrong finger. And even my other hand, it's not going to work. If it's read the incorrect fingerprint 10 times, it's going to lock itself and prevent the malicious actor from basically getting in. If we use our correct finger, so the thumb or the index that we just recorded, uh, we can tap on it and it will be recognized, as you can see there, and we'll be able to log on in. And again, this works in both the wired as well as the wireless Bluetooth mode. If you're on a Windows computer, you can also install an optional software just from their website or from the Microsoft Store that's called the Biopass Fido 2 Manager. It basically is doing the same things that uh, built-in Windows can do just through the settings, but from here you're also able to manage your fingerprints or test if the fingerprints are working correctly or not. Here it will be red and says that's been recognized. All right, so that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Fido 2 two-factor authentication security keys from Feitian, and this is the K44 and the K33. Again, both of these are just having slightly different form factors and more features compared to some of the more basic models, uh, like the ones from YubiKey that we've checked out in the past, by having this biometric fingerprint reader that is pretty unique and has an additional layer of security that can be useful. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.